are pretty bad. little red knob that releases the hydraulic pressure so that lets it sit down on that on that safety brace so that's designed to hold that up so you can work on the other side also put me a two by six it's just sitting there it's not holding any weight but any added safety is a good idea if you hear a crack or pop or something might give you time to get out of the way. So let's start taking it apart. Try to get some of the dirt out of these little spinner wrench holes. Make sure it gets a good grip. Too awful bad. Let's get these hydraulic lines broke loose. And that pin up there. I'll take this line off out of the way and I should be able to access the back line. So now those lines are loose and that'll let me pull this out without having any suction or resistance. We're gonna take out this bolt that holds the pin in and tap that pin out. Pull this up. It should come out. Oh. Hmm. Damn, that ain't coming out. I don't see me pulling that out. Unless I get something on it and pull that way. So this doesn't seem to want to pull out very easy. I'm gonna put a strap on it, a little ratchet strap, and give it a little tension and see if it'll start to move. I don't know if I have it in a bind or what, but that sucker don't want to come out. Right where I want it. That's how it's going to go, one way or another. Finally broke loose. So this is just me trying to make it happen. I watched a guy called How I Did It on YouTube. Bobcat Mechanic that really knows his stuff. That's where I came across 
how to do this. So if you want to see how it's really supposed to be done, go check him out. If you just want to see somebody struggle, you can hang out here for a little while. The next problem is going to be this nut right here. All right, plan B. I thought I felt it move, but it bent the rod. I'm gonna have to find something a little more solid to hold that thing so I can get some leverage on it. Put the cylinder back in, put the pin in it. I'm gonna try to get the nut off this way. All right, let's try some leverage. Always got half of what I need. It's off. All that Loctite on it. So here's our seals. One, two, three. Let's count them out. Let's see. I think that's where it's leaking from the most. It looks like it's cracked on that seal. All right, so you can get it to that point. Then you take some pliers. These pliers weren't smooth, so I taped them up. We're gonna grab it right here and then force it back this way, down and in and let go. Can't hold the camera and do it, so here we go. All right, it's in. It takes a little bit of pressure. Now let's get the rest on. This one's really easy, it just goes under the lip. It's easy with two hands. Oh. There. So those two are in. This big seal goes over the whole thing. We just roll it into place. All right, gotta use my other hand. So it's in place. Need to clean this groove a little bit more and then we'll put in these two. So everything's on there. Got these two, this O-ring, the inside seal. They all have different names. I don't know the names. Scraper, taper, I don't know. So I just broke that one just to get it off <clears throat> without scratching the piston or whatever this thing's called. We're gonna take off this O-ring that's under that and replace it as well. That one goes on nice and easy. So this one is the toughest one to get on. You have to kind of stretch it a little bit to get it to go around, and then it kind of goes back in place. It goes right on top of that O-ring. So let's get that on there. It's on there, it's stretched just a little bit, but it should go back, should shrink back down. I got it in there, it was a little twisted and I rolled it on the table. It kind of set it back in place. So we'll give that a little while to shrink back down and go stick it on. Got some hydraulic fluid on there to lubricate it. Pretty tight, but that's what you want. Plenty of Loctite on there. Maybe that's good.
pretty tight right there. Just give it one more click. Be ready to go back down in the cylinder and lube this up a little bit. Get the O-rings lubed up, sealed. You want to start that by hand. Make sure it's threading right before you go putting the wrench on it. Oh, Lord. Got a gnat in my ear. I think it's done. Well, almost. Gotta get our pin aligned up here. Now it's done. I'm gonna have to add a little hydraulic fluid. Start it up, let it circulate for a minute, and then we'll move it around. This side's done, got it all back together. It's good to go. I moved the lift arms up and down, no leaks, no nothing. So we're gonna do the other side. I've already started on that, I've got it taken apart. I got the shaft to come out a little bit easier on the other side. I think I might've had this side in a bind when I was trying to pull it out. So anyway, the other side shaft is out. I've got the nut off. Gonna take the parts to the house, sit in the AC and change out the seals, get something to drink. It's about 91, 92 degrees, 6,000 percent humidity, something like that. And that's are trying to find all their ways into my brain that they can. And uh, it's time to go get some AC and change some seals. The other side, it's taking a lot less time. It's going fast. Nothing to it really. Once you do it one time, I think it's pretty simple. Just be safe. Support them arms, don't get hurt.